some dolly lollies and that have been requested by Betsy Doodle who's DD and it's really early here so I've put on some lights hopefully we can see okay and yesterday I done the prep of it so I'm gonna go through that now to start with and then I will show you what I've made up I'm just making sure I've got the right pen here. So what you're going to need to start with to make these is some paper. Make sure to colour it that it's paper that's made for that light. So if you're doing more colour, use, it doesn't matter if it's cheap or whatever, use what colour um, paper or get the mixed media paper that suits mostly all stuff. And I think they take pens as well, like Copex or that. But what you want to do is get um a liner. I've got a Faber Castell Pit Artist pen. I'm using the medium one. I've got the set of these. And what you want to do, I'm not going to do a lot of these. I'm just going to do one sheet and show you for an example. So you want to do some things like doodles that you can cut out so basically you want um so you want leaves right so make sure they're like fat as well because you need to color in them and then you want flowers i'm doing this really fast so i'm not even thinking about it but say the flowers okay leaves what else was there yeah so and then what you want is you want something big for the back. So um, say something leafy or something like that. You can have a gigantic leaf like that. Or you can do something that spirals out like this. You know. But then you'd have to do a couple of them because you'd need to build it together. And then put it together so it's at the back there like that. I'm no good at drawing very fast. Or you can just do like uh, a big, sort of, bigger than this. So if it was 10 times bigger than this sort of thing. I'll show you some examples that I've done in a minute. And then um, carry on. Make up little bits like hearts with any of the spare bits of paper around. So say if you've done them, you've done like another leaf there, for instance, you've got spaces, do circles, do triangles, do squares, fill them in even like that, you know. Just doodle to build up them like ephemera. Well, it's fodder, but it's colorful fodder also known as ephemera, whatever you like to call it. So what I've done is I've done four sheets of it yesterday. Oh, and also you want to do some gels as well. So I'll show you my gels in a minute. But the basic shape for the gels is a bit like, like a chest pawn. So it's like a head, right? And then the shoulders, like that. Okay, that's, that should have been a bit wider there. And then you've got your, your girls made up. So you just colour the face and then you just segregate that bit and then you can do whatever you want on that part as a dress or suit or whatever. Girls made up look like this. Okay. So I've gone over with some Posca pens and some bits of paint, metallic paint after that. This is my pole here of stuff I've made up. So this is the fodder I've done. See what I was talking about with the big leaf. There's another big leaf. So I've got two for backgrounds. So you build around these. These are your two main focal points. So... For this project, you're going to need lolly sticks and the bigger tight ones. And the bigger, the better. 
And I know Dee's got bigger ones than these ones, she said, so that's even better. But you'll need to make sure this is big enough at the back so it covers that stick and uh, you can get your gel on as well. So your basic is like this, okay? But then you've got to figure it out, which is the hardest part of this. You want your bits and pieces. See, I've done one like that. I've done some flowers like that. With some, uh, it has got some gl that glitter in it. I've done all different bits. I mean, she could have that air bow if I wanted her to have. See some flower heads. So it's like I could put a flower head in there on that side. Um, I've got round shapes. I've got this sort of weird looking butterfly. There's hearts. Little flowers. Um, so you can put the heart in behind as well. It depends where you want all your stuff, but you want to build it so it comes out. So you've got quite a bit in there. You know, you can cut these down in half and just shove them behind. And then you've got, you know, extra for another one or whatever. But yeah, just keep building it until you get it how you want it. I'm not going to put this one together. Then it all comes out. You can add in pieces of like eyelash trim to come down and all that once your wand's all assembled. The best way I've found to do this, because I've done one up and then I thought, oh, I would have liked to have stamped on that. And it was harder to stamp on because you're going to bend all the paper up if you go, you know, and maybe get ink all over it. So prepare it first. So get your stick, get your, I've got some like this, get your words and then just stamp your word there across it down below. Make sure it's the right way around because I've learned from that mistake as well. And, uh, yeah, do that. It's so easy to do. It really is. You can have lots of fun. The hardest part is drawing all this, painting it all and colouring it, and cutting it out. It's not so bad cutting it out because they're big shapes, most of them. If you're going to do tiny little things like these, then it gets very complicated fast. But if you're doing big, big ones like... Um, like these type of ones, you know, then it's not so bad. It's not so tricky. But yeah, you can, as I said, put colouring with the black inside and then go around with your colour. You don't have to be perfect while cutting them. They look nice like that, I think. And uh, add some glitters to them. Make them sparkle. You're not going to be able to see that. This is colour. Uh, what's it called? Colour shift. I think colour shift watercolour metallic paints. And I've only got them on dot cards. Because they're very expensive. I think the dot card cost me. Seven. Nearly eight pounds. And there's only like. Six dots on there on one of them. And I've got some free other dots, but I mean, they are gorgeous colours. They're the colours you wanted to know about, Dee. But I don't think I'd buy them, you know. I, I wouldn't buy a whole pan or half a pan of one because it cost a fortune. But I put a little bit on some of these, you know, and make them shiny. But you could, you could put, um, what's that stuff called? I haven't used it for years. I can't even think of its name now. I know it's in a it's in a bottle tube thing, like a glue thing. It's clear and it dries clear. You know what I mean. And everyone's shouting it out and I can't think of its name. I haven't used that stuff for years. You get it from Mobby Craft and all that. And it dries like a glass effect on the 
you know, on that side. But, yeah, the, the name had come to me, and I'll pull it in the video when I'm editing. It just, oh, it was so and so. Yeah, straight away. <laughs> but, yeah, just uh, do your things. Don't need to do them with watercolour. You can use your gouache paint. You can use acrylic paint on the paper. You can use crayons. You can use um, pencils. I mean, doing them with... Uh, I, I've used on some of the other ones Prismacolor pencils come up nice you can use them with uh, any any of your markers pens anything you like and once they're decorated they come up lovely so I'm not going to make one because I've already made a couple I'm going to try and see when Margaret's back off the holiday if she had posted a picture and uh, on Instagram or something and grab a, a, a screenshot of that. I'm going to go and grab the screenshot and I'm going to post it because I've got to go out soon so I haven't got time to do a full, you know, video but you'll know exactly how to do it now, how I've done it. So yeah, thank you for watching everyone and uh, Maybe I will put some of the. If I do put these together soon, then I'll show you. I'll probably post it on Instagram or something like that, or in my community tab. But yeah, you'll know what to do. See, look, I'll just do little doodles on them as well, make them more interested. That one I've made it so it looks like a bud. You know, with that wave in it. There's another one in here that looks like a bud. I think I've done a couple. Yeah, look. Little buds. I'm sure I've done another one. You know? I did, but I don't know where it is. Could have fell out. Is there? No. That was a... Uh, that's a tulip, that one. Ah, there it is, look. Done a smaller one. So I've got those. That's one of Kerry's in her stencil that I've just put in there. Um, so yeah, little little flowers, big flowers. That one was done with crayons. Um, I forgot what they're called now, them hobby craft ones I was using the other week. And they're like watercolour crayons. These are, as I said, what colours. So if you make any, let me know, guys. Like to see them. And that was what colour crayons as well. And just all different shapes, just to go on your background to bring it out. So I think this this lot here was like four A5 sheets of paper. So. So if you're talking, say, two sheets of A4 paper, you get all this out of. See? That's not bad. And it, whatever you don't use, you can use as ephemera on your projects okay guys take care see you in the next video bye